Hello, I'm Dr. Liz Cohen, and I'm here to share with you a top 10 list of tips to prevent, identify, and treat toenail fungus. Tip number one is identifying toenail fungus. Toenail fungus, the medical term is onychomycosis, is caused by a fungus. There are other types of nail infection caused by mold and yeast, but we're talking today specifically about fungus. It causes thickening of the toenail and a change in the color of the toenail. You can see in these two pictures below um, examples of toenail fungus. Tip number two is learning how to prevent toenail fungus. It's important to keep your feet clean and dry and to change your socks every day. Tip number three is, tip number three is another tip for preventing Toenail fungus. Avoid sharing nail clippers with others. Toenail fungus is very contagious, and if someone who used a nail clipper before you had toenail fungus, there's a high, high likelihood that you'll get it after using their toenail clipper. Tip number four, another tip to prevent toenail fungus is to wear shower shoes or sandals in public baths, locker rooms, and swimming pools. For the same reason that you don't want to share nail clippers, you want to make sure that your feet don't come into contact with the floors of where other people have been walking because the toenail fungus is extremely contagious. Tip number five is now we've discussed how to prevent and identify if you suspect you have toenail fungus, it's important to be seen by a doctor and have a special test done of your toenails. Your doctor can take a toenail scraping and put KOH or potassium hydroxide to diagnose toenail fungus and can also send away a culture to the laboratory to make sure that it's toenail fungus. Again, I, I said there were other causes of of, of um, infection near toenails, including mold and yeast. So it's important to make sure it's fungus before you treat with a medication because the medication it is, it can be expensive and it does require many weeks of treatment. So you don't want to use the wrong medication. Tip number six, if, you, if it is determined that you do have toenail fungus, you don't always need to treat it. A lot of people will have toenail fungus that doesn't bother them and they don't have any risk factors for getting sick from it. So there's no reason and they're not bothered by the appearance. In these situations, there's no reason really to treat it. But there are reasons to treat toenail fungus. And some of the reasons that you should consider are if you have a history of cellulitis, cellulitis, which is an inf in, in infection of the skin can be caused by toenail fungus. So if you do have a history of cellulitis, especially of cellulitis of the feet or legs, then you probably should have your toenail fungus treated. Also, if you have conditions like diabetes or HIV, or if you're on steroids, or for any other reason, if you have um, um, a depressed immune system, it might be important for you to treat toenail fungus because the toenail fungus can lead to bloodstream infections in people who are diabetic or have another reason to be immunocompromised. Yet another reason to treat toenail fungus is if the toenail fungus is causing you pain or discomfort or even just for cosmetic reasons if you're bothered by the appearance of your toenails. Tip number seven, if you and your doctor do decide that treatment is the best plan, then I recommend for toenail fungus, terbinafine, 250 milligram tablets for 12 weeks. Tip number eight, if you do um, decide on treatment with terbinafine, the manufacturer recommends checking liver enzymes once before and once during treatment with terbinafine. This is a blood test, and it will make sure that terbinafine doesn't cause any damage to your liver. 
Tip number nine is nail care. Whether or not you decide to treat with terbinafine, it can be very helpful to use urea cream on your toenails to help soften the toenails so that you can cut them easily. First thing to do is to apply Vaseline around your nails to cover the skin so that the urea doesn't get on the skin. The next thing is to apply a thick layer of urea, 40% cream, to the affected nails. Cover the nails with bandage, with bandage or tape overnight and wash the urea off with soap and water in the morning. Repeat this every night until the nail softens and can be easily clipped. And tip number 10, believe in yourself. Toenail fungus is very common and in many cases does not even need to be treated. I've described some effective ways of identifying and preventing toenail fungus and some considerations for whether for deciding when to treat and how to treat toenail fungus. I hope these tips have been helpful. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.